So I did not realize that I'd already be going up. Um, and I just found out that I'll be leaving shortly after this speech. So before I begin my speech, I'd like to offer my flowers and my gratitude to all of the graduating Point Scholars this year. One more round of applause, please, for that. So as David had mentioned of humans being human, I'm also going to be human on stage for the next few minutes, and I'm going to go over time a little bit. Um, I want to preface this by saying that I most likely will mess up. Um, I hope that in giving this speech, I don't give a perfect speech, but an honest one. And so I'd like to say good evening, and thank you so much for having me here tonight to speak with all of you at Point Honors Los Angeles. My journey with Point had begun when I applied to the Community College Scholarship um, in 2019. Um, and even before starting college, I had already known about Point Foundation, um, and I knew that this was a program that I wanted to get into, and so I did. My first time meeting the other community college scholars in 2019 was such an impactful and incredible experience, and it gave me the motivation and the drive to continue my LGBTQ plus advocacy and the advocacy for all marginalized people, both here in the United States and across the world. I then went on to apply for the flagship scholarship and received it in the midst of the pandemic in 2020. And unfortunately, during this time, I had also lost all of my motivation and had taken several steps back to focus on my life in trying to refine my purpose while also taking care of my disabled mother, my younger siblings, myself, all while working as a sole worker in our household to keep our family afloat financially. But also during the same time, I was so grateful for the support from Point Foundation and all of its scholars and staff members in allowing me to build and to create community with them all, especially George, who took my phone call one day in April of 2021 and reminded me of the power and the potential that I held to change the world. That phone call had made me realize that those who truly care and invest in us, both in our personal lives and at Point Foundation, are never out of reach, but instead an arm's length away. I can recall the first time that I had advocated for myself in the confines of a hospital bed when I was 13 years old. I had underwent my fourth major surgery and stayed there to recover for about half a month. As someone with a disability, I often felt disempowered and felt that I would never amount or accomplish anything. But in that hospital bed, powering through the barriers of being able to simply lift my fingers up, move my hands, to sit upright, and to take one, two, three steps on my own was me taking action and fighting for myself to accomplish what I deserved. And so I decided at that moment to advocate for myself because I could. And knowing while there is so much that I cannot do, there's also so much that I can do. And I've allowed that to steer my direction in advocating for others and myself while at the same time trying to figure out what I actually want to do with my life and what place in the world I hold to do the most good. <laughs> I know that we're all aware and have heard about the current state of anti-LGBTQ plus legislation as well as the culture and hate surrounding it in our country today. And I will say that while it's not surprising, as many of us, regardless of our age and the generation that we come from, know firsthand what hate and vitriol looks like against our community in every way possible. 
And in spite of that, what I love about our community is our determination and the commitment in fighting for each other. And with Point's commitment to supporting scholars who will lead the fight and the challenges ahead, I'd like everyone to take one moment to look at those of the people sitting around at your table. And then to take a moment to look at the people in this room and to allow ourselves the grace to lean on one another, to support one another, to love one another, and know that we will be okay because our existence is proof that as long as that we're here, we can and will create a world of equity and justice that all of our communities deserve. And I know that every single person in this room will help contribute in making that a reality. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks.